Welcome to the global defense battle. The Harpoon missile is a subsonic anti-ship missile developed by the United States primarily to target enemy ships and surface vessels. Designed for precision strikes, it was introduced in 1977 by McDonnell Douglas, which later merged with Boeing. The missile was created during the Cold War to counter naval threats and protect strategic sea routes. Its compact design and ability to operate from air, sea, and submarines make it a versatile tool for maritime warfare. The Harpoon is known for its sea-skimming trajectory, reducing the chances of detection by enemy radars. On the other hand, the Exocet missile, developed by France's Aerospatiale, also falls into the category of subsonic anti-ship missiles. Introduced in 1973, it was specifically designed to destroy large naval vessels with pinpoint accuracy. The Exocet became globally recognized during the Falklands War due to its effectiveness in sinking enemy ships. Like the Harpoon, it follows a low-altitude flight path, making it harder to intercept. The missile was developed to enhance the naval combat capabilities of France and its allied nations, with a focus on flexibility and adaptability. And today, we will compare both of these missiles, United States Harpoon versus France's Exocet missiles. Talking about the design first, the Harpoon missile features a cylindrical body with a streamlined design for better aerodynamics, helping it maintain stability during flight. It is equipped with swept-back tail fins and wings that provide enhanced maneuverability and control, particularly at low altitudes. The missile measures approximately 4.6 meters in length and has a diameter of 34.3 centimeters. Its launch weight is around 690 kilograms, which includes its warhead and fuel. The design incorporates a sea-skimming capability, allowing it to fly just above the water surface, minimizing detection and interception. Its robust structure is optimized for launching from various platforms, including aircraft, ships, and submarines. On the other hand, the Exocet missile also boasts a cylindrical body with an aerodynamically efficient shape, designed for long-range precision strikes. It has four fixed wings located mid-body and four tail fins for stability and guidance during flight. Slightly smaller than the Harpoon, the Exocet measures around 4.7 meters in length and has a diameter of 34.8 centimeters. Its weight varies by version but generally falls between 670 to 780 kilograms. The missile's sea-skimming trajectory and compact size make it ideal for use in confined spaces, such as coastal areas or narrow waterways, and it is capable of being launched from ships, submarines, and aircraft. Overall, the design comparison shows that while both missiles share a similar cylindrical structure and sea-skimming ability, the Harpoon is slightly lighter, offering better platform compatibility. Talking about the propulsion and performance, the Harpoon missile is powered by a turbojet engine, which allows it to maintain a consistent subsonic speed of approximately 850 km per hour. It uses jet fuel, JP-10, known for its high energy density and efficiency in compact engines. The Harpoon has a single-stage propulsion system, meaning its engine operates continuously from launch to target impact without requiring a multi-stage setup. The missile has an operational range of 125 to 300 kilometers, depending on the variant. Its sea-skimming altitude ensures it flies close to the water surface, typically between 2 to 5 meters, making it difficult for enemy radar and defense systems to detect or intercept. The missile, on the other hand, uses a solid rocket motor for its propulsion. This system is simpler and more reliable than turbojets, as it requires no moving parts and provides consistent thrust. The Exocet achieves a subsonic speed of around 1,130 km per hour, slightly faster than the Harpoon. It also features a single-stage propulsion system, which powers the missile throughout its flight. The missile's maximum range varies by version, with older variants reaching 40 km and newer versions, such as the MM-40 Block 3, extending to 200 km. Like the Harpoon, the Exocet flies at a low altitude of around 2 to 3 meters, maximizing its stealth during the approach. Both missiles rely on subsonic speeds and single-stage propulsion systems to optimize range and efficiency. Talking about the payload capacity and warhead types, the Harpoon missile is equipped with a high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead, specifically designed to destroy or incapacitate large naval vessels. The missile's payload weighs approximately 227 kilograms. It uses a conventional warhead, meaning it does not have a nuclear option in its standard configurations. 
The warhead is designed to penetrate the hull of a ship before detonating, maximizing damage within a localized area. The destruction radius of the harpoon is estimated to be around 50 to 75 meters, depending on the size and structure of the target. The missile cannot carry multiple warheads, as it is built to deliver a single, precise payload to its target. On the other hand, the Exocet missile also utilizes a high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead, optimized for anti-ship operations. Its payload capacity is slightly smaller than the Harpoon, weighing approximately 165 kilograms. Like the Harpoon, it is strictly designed to carry conventional warheads and does not have a nuclear variant. The Exocet warhead is built to pierce the ship's structure and detonate internally, causing significant damage to critical components such as the engine room or command center. The destruction radius is slightly smaller, estimated to be around 40 to 60 meters, depending on the target size and construction. The missile also does not support multiple warheads. Both missiles are designed for precise, high-impact strikes on naval targets, with a focus on causing maximum damage to a specific area. Coming to the guidance and accuracy, the Harpoon missile is equipped with a combination of inertial navigation and active radar homing guidance systems, making it highly accurate in locating and targeting enemy vessels. The missile uses its inertial navigation system to follow a pre-programmed flight path, and as it nears the target, the active radar homing system takes over to precisely lock onto the ship. The Harpoon is designed to be maneuverable during flight, using its control fins to adjust its trajectory based on real-time inputs. Its accuracy is reflected in a circular error probable of approximately 5 to 10 meters, which means it can strike within this range of the intended target, ensuring reliable destruction of naval threats. On the other hand, the Exocet missile also features a dual guidance system that combines inertial navigation for mid-course flight and active radar homing for terminal guidance. The INS ensures the missile stays on its intended path, while the radar system allows it to independently locate and track the target in its final approach. The Exocet is known for its sea-skimming flight path, which increases its chances of evading enemy defenses. It can perform minor flight maneuvers during its final phase to adjust its trajectory and evade countermeasures. Its CEP is slightly broader than the Harpoon, at approximately 10 to 15 meters, but still provides sufficient accuracy for destroying large naval vessels. Both missiles are equipped with advanced guidance systems that combine INS and radar technology to ensure precision strikes. While the Harpoon offers slightly higher accuracy with a smaller CEP. Regarding launch vehicles, the Harpoon missile is designed to be highly versatile and can be launched from a variety of platforms, including ships, submarines, aircraft, and coastal defense systems. Ship launch variants use a box launcher or a vertical launch system, while aircraft deployed versions are carried under the wings of fighter jets or maritime patrol aircraft. Submarine launched Harpoons are ejected from torpedo tubes before activating their engines. The Harpoon is known for its rapid readiness, requiring only a few minutes to prepare for launch once a target is identified. It is deployable from both mobile and fixed platforms, offering strategic flexibility in maritime warfare. On the other hand, the Exocet missile also supports multi-platform deployment and is compatible with ships, submarines, and aircraft. Ship-launched variants typically utilize canister launchers, while aircraft variants are mounted on pylons under the wings. Submarine-launched Exocets are fired using encapsulated systems that protect the missile until it surfaces. The response time of the Exocet is similarly quick, with launch preparation and targeting typically completed within a few minutes. Like the Harpoon, the Exocet can be deployed from both mobile and fixed platforms, making it suitable for a range of operational scenarios. Overall, both missiles are designed for rapid deployment and can be launched from multiple types of vehicles, providing tactical versatility. Regarding cost, determining the exact development cost for the Harpoon missile is challenging due to the classified nature of military expenditures and the historical context of its development in the 1970s. However, the production cost per missile has been documented in various defense budgets. For instance, in the fiscal year 2020, the U.S. Navy allocated funds for Block II Harpoons at a unit cost of $1,410,000. On the other hand, similarly, Precise development costs for the Exocet missile are not publicly available, as its development began in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The production cost per missile varies depending on the model and configuration. Reports indicate that the SM-39 Block II variant was priced at approximately $3.15 million per unit in 2007. 
The Harpoon missile has been a cornerstone of anti-ship warfare since its introduction in the late 1970s. While the exact number of Harpoon missiles currently in active service is not publicly disclosed, the missile remains operational with the U.S. Navy and numerous allied nations. Although production for the United States has ceased, upgrade programs continue, and production for export persists. On the other hand, the Exocet missile has achieved significant global presence since its inception. As of November 2024, MBDA celebrated the production of the 4000th Exocet missile, underscoring its extensive manufacturing history. The Exocet is currently in service with 36 countries worldwide, reflecting its broad adoption and operational status. Production continues to meet both domestic and international demand, with the latest variants, such as the MM40 Block 3, offering enhanced capabilities. In summary, the Harpoon and Exocet missiles are two of the most well-known subsonic anti-ship weapons, each with unique features and capabilities. Ultimately, the choice between these missiles depends on operational needs, with each offering distinct advantages. This comparison showcases how both systems have shaped modern naval warfare and remain benchmarks in anti-ship missile technology. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.